Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you're watching Chart.js tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn how to draw line graph using Chart.js. So let's get started. In our previous video, Chart.js getting started, we created a project folder Chart.js2. And inside that project folder, we created a CSS folder and a JS folder. Now inside the JS folder, we placed chart.min.js and jQuery.min.js file. And inside the chart.js2 project folder, we created index.html file. All right, inside the project folder, chart.js2, create a new file and save it as line.html. Now inside the CSS folder, create a new file and save it as default.css this is where we are going to write css rules now back to index.html and we'll write the basic html so we have the doc type html opening and closing html tag head tag and inside the head tag we have the title tag set to chart.js line then we are including this default.css file in the head tag. So link href css default.css rel style sheet. Then inside the body tag, we are including all the JavaScript files. So first the jQuery.min.js file, then chart.min.js file, which are inside the JS folder. Now Inside the JS folder, create a new file and save it as line.js. This is where we are going to write JavaScript to create the line graph. Now back to line.html file and include this line.js file. So we'll write script src js line.js. Now save this file and we'll open this line.html in our browser. And let us open developer tools. Okay, so we don't have any error in the console. All right, so now inside the body tag, we'll create a div and we'll give it a class chart container now inside this div we are going to create a canvas element and we'll give it an id line chart canvas and we'll hit save now inside this canvas we are going to create the line graph now we go inside this default.css file and we'll write the style rule for chart container. Now since this div has a class chart container, so we'll write dot chart container and we'll set its width to 80%. Height 480 pixels and margin 0 auto so this will make the div having class chart container center aligned now it's time to write some javascript so we'll move inside this line.js file and we'll write dollar document dot ready function so this is a simple javascript actually a jquery which says that anything inside this function will be executed after the document is ready so the first thing we need to do is we have to get this element 
canvas having id line chart canvas so get canvas and we'll create a variable var ctx equal to dollar hash line chart canvas now to create the line graph we have to instantiate the chart class so we'll write var chart equal to new chart and this constructor will take two arguments first is this variable ctx second is an object and since we are creating a line graph so we'll set type to line data which is an object and options which is also an object now save this and if we go back to line.html and reload you can see we have an empty chart so now we need to create the line graph now we'll create a data variable which is an object having some properties and value pair now in this example we are going to show the score of two teams team a and team b for five matches match one match two till match five so the first property that we are going to set for this data object is labels which is an array and each element is going to be the name of the match so we'll write match one match two match three match four and match five next we'll create another property which is called data sets it is also an array the element of this array are also objects and since we are going to create a line graph for two teams so this array will contain two elements that is two objects now let us create the first object the first property of this object is label and we'll set this to team a score the next property is data which is an array and this array contains the score of team a for the five matches so the first score is 10 second is 50 let's say the third is 25 fourth is 70 and let's say the fifth is 40. Next property is background color. And we'll set this to blue. This is the color under the line. The next property is border color. This is the color of the line. And we'll set this to light blue. next property is fill and we'll set this to false when this is set to false it means we are not going to fill up the area under the line with any color next line tension we'll set this to zero now if this is set to zero then we'll have a straight line and if the value is more than zero say 0 0.1 0 0.2 and so on we'll get a curved line next property is point radius and we'll set this to 5 this is the radius of the point shape that will be drawn on the line graph now save 
and now we'll create the second element of this data sets array so let me go ahead and copy the first one all right so we'll set the label for the second object team b score and let's say the first match score of team b was 20 second was 35 for third let's say 40 for match 4 let's say 60 and for the last match match 5 let's say the score of team b was 50 and let us set the background color to green and border color to light green and rest of the property fill line tension and point radius will remain the same so hit save now let us set this data object to this data property and save now if you open this line.html file in the browser and if you hit reload we get the line graph so score of team a for match one was 10 for match one score of team b was 20 similarly you can over the mouse on this point and you can see match 4 score of team B is 60 and for team A it is 70 and so on and now we'll create title for this graph so we go back to our line.js file and now we'll create another variable var options which is also an object and the first property that we are going to set is title this will create the title for the graph which is again an object now inside this object we are going to set display to true and we want the title of this graph to be at the top so we'll write position top and the text that we want to display let's say line graph and let us also set the font size to let's say 18 pixels and uh, font color to let's say hash 111 and let's save this thing now we'll put this variable options for this options property so we'll replace this and we'll write options and we'll hit save now go back to line.html and we hit reload and we get this title for this chart now let's say we want to display the legend at the bottom so we'll go back to line.js and we'll set the next property legend which is an object and we'll set display to true and we'll set position to bottom and we'll save this I'll go back to line.html and reload and we have the legend at the bottom all right guys this brings us to the end of this tutorial video i hope you'll find this video interesting and helpful and i'll post the entire tutorial notes on my website dyclassroom.com the link will be there in the description so please check that out and the code that i'm writing in this tutorial i'll put them in my github repository the link will be there in the description so don't you worry all you have to do is Go through the description and you will find all the important links regarding this tutorial. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And like always, stay happy and keep smiling. 
बाय